on everyone welcome to ocean pulse today we're going to be putting uh 80 pound braid on our crystal reel xl 625 and it's a it's an electric reel so there's the reel i got that over there Hello. Say hi. Um, so pretty much here's some tips that you can use when you're putting braid onto a conventional reel. Uh, you don't want it slipping on the actual drum of the reel. So you gotta put a small little piece of backing tape on there. And then you're gonna run the line through the rod. And then you're going to tie your line to the, to the spool. So uh, let me go ahead and do that and uh, then I'll show you how to use this reel for the first time and spool the line onto it. All right, so I hope you guys can see this here. Uh, pretty much you're gonna start threading your line. You're gonna go through the swivel tip. And if you come over here, let me see if you can see that. There's two roller guides on the tip. You're gonna go right in between both of them. You don't wanna go over the top one. You're gonna go in through the swivel tip. You're gonna go over the big one and under the small one. And then you're simply going to thread it as you would any other reel, uh, any other rod, I mean, through the guides. And you're gonna run through all the different guides. You're gonna pull through and work your way down. All right. And on this particular model, we do have the level wind. So then you're gonna go through the level wind. It's pretty fail proof. You have this guide there. And then at this point is where we're going to get ready to tie our line onto your spool. All right, so once you've gone through all the guides, you went in through the swivel tip, you went in over the large one, under the little one on the swivel tip, in through every single guide. Remember, once you tie this, if you want to do it again, you have to take it apart or cut it and start over. Uh, so uh, cross your T's and dot your I's. We went through the uh, the level wind we went over the spool under and we're gonna do that two times so get some slack you're gonna put it put it under again it's a little challenging make sure you don't go over any of the frame of the electric reel uh, then you feed it back up okay make sure you're not tangling anything up and then it's a little challenging once you got it here you have you have that little piece of tape that i tied onto the actual reel down here and i'm going to work away on the other side because i'm left-handed and my brain works funny so what i like to do for knots is the, the, the side that I'm gonna tie around the line, I like to actually put it on top. This is, again, how my brain works. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring a piece back. I'm gonna create this small little pocket here, okay? I'm gonna switch the camera now so that you can see it from the angle that I'm doing it so that you see how I tie my knot. Okay, so as I was saying, I have two loops on here, okay? Personally, I like to put the line that I'm going to be tying over. Then I'm going to create this pocket here. And then we're going to tie it around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're gonna bring it back to the center and then we're going to tighten that and a pull and then we're gonna pull this down slide it in and I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, OCD here so I like to tighten it very well here okay and then pull on the top. I hope you guys can see this. I'm pulling up here. Thanks, Bob. Grab your scissors. Remember, braid, you can't clip it with regular nylon clips. So pull is tight. Remember, you got one shot to get this right. And 
then you're going to take your tag end hope you guys can see that there okay you're going to take your tag end and you're just going to clip it right there all right so now let me come around the other side so crystal has a couple of buttons it has a digital display underneath it you got a couple of switches this is a on off full speed this is a bump toggle this is your speed knob you want to make sure when you're spooling this for the first time that you have this knob turned all the way counterclockwise okay you want to make sure that's all the way to the left right counterclockwise so it's at the lowest speed last thing you want to do this thing has a lot of power you don't want to start yanking line out of someone's hands and potentially hurt them break a finger or worse um, tangle your line on your rod so make sure you have this on the lowest setting and uh, what we're going to do is once we're ready since this is the first time that we're spooling this so how crystal works if you see here on the display let me see if i can get that it says 95 percent so once this is spooled that you have this completely spooled up when you drop line it's going to retrieve automatically if you use a mode it's going to retrieve automatically 95 percent of your line otherwise since it's the first time we have to use the, the toggle switch to fill it up and then in the future we'll be able to do the automatic retrieve so i'm going to take a moment to put this back on my harness to continue with it. so this particular model the xl25 is the one with the optional hand crank uh, remember this is a direct drive motor so unlike st uh, standard or traditional conventional uh, reels, you do not crank forward. You actually crank backwards, okay? So you crank backwards, your drag is over here on the right. You have this push knob, you increase it to where you need it, and then you're going to use this. Personally, I'm gonna do one layer of braid to even out the bottom. This is just my opinion before I go ahead and muscle the um the, the motor to do the heavy lifting for me okay so i hope you guys can see this here it's gonna be a little bit i'm just hand cranking here and it's evenly the level wine on this is a game changer guys it's evenly spooling your reel for you beautifully cristal does an excellent job with that notice how smooth that level wine is and we're going to continue to use this here and just get a little little layer of backing there so that that braid is nice and tight so we're using a uh, suffix 80 pound braid in uh, i think it's called coastal blue uh, this is going to be uh, kind of like a wreck rod reef rod for deep water um, call it 100 to 300 feet maybe more you can use this for deep dropping for black belly rosefish for yellow eye snapper queen snapper uh, I've read you could probably even use it for some small swords. We do have another XL655, which is a bigger model. Um, this is good for grouper muttons, anything you want to pull up fast and not get sharp. So I'm just going to crank here. And around there, I feel pretty good. And now, remember what I explained that you can't use the automatic retrieve yet. You got to use the toggle switch, which is the one on the left. Dad, you ready? All right, so always make sure that the person that you're going to be pulling a uh, line from on the spool over there is ready because you don't want to hurt them. So we're going to just literally tap it up, turn the rod to them, and just go. And don't get your finger in the drag. make sure luckily my finger didn't get smashed but um learn from my mistake keep your hand away from the level wine and just let it do its work
we're back. Sorry, I had to take a quick break. So again, we're just using the toggle switch down here, the one all the way to the left. Speed is set to the lowest, like I showed you earlier. And put your hand up here. I always ask the person that's helping you if they're ready. Talito, ready? All right, here we go. And I'll fast forward through this portion here. But as you can see, these crystal reels are amazing. We've been actually using these uh, since the uh, mid to late 90s. Technology's come a long, long way. Uh, one of these days I'll do a, a video with my XL01. It literally looks like a, a winch that you would use to operate uh, a motorized fence. It's a big electric motor, 12 volt, with a very simple um, rod attached to the box and that thing will pull massive massive fish so take your time guys you want to make sure you do this correctly um one thing that a friend of mine told me is the more drag that you put the more torque the motor applies and the faster it spins so you want to take this easy take your time don't rush and just enjoy this process all right so I've been spooling for a few minutes. Um, I would say it's pretty much at the halfway mark. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with those details. Uh, I'm going to continue to do it and then I'll wrap up at the end, all right? All right, so we're pretty much at the end here. Um, you don't want to spool it all the way to the edge. That's not good. Uh, but you want to get a good amount of line on here. This, if I'm not mistaken, is um, a bit over 2,000 yards that the spool has of capacity. So if you do the math, you're talking about over 6,000 feet of line on this. And the likelihood of you using all this is not likely, but it's good to have because why? When you're fishing out on the reef, if God forbid your, your weight gets uh, stuck into the rocks and things like that, uh, you're going to have to cut your line and re-rig. So you want to have enough out there to not ruin your day of fishing. And this is definitely a prime, prime example of that. Or if you're short fishing, you're down 2,000 feet of water, you still want to have a lot more just in case you got to fight that fish etc even though this thing does a fantastic job in most cases um so yeah this is pretty much it uh then all i'm going to do is snip the line tie it and call it a day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please make sure to subscribe like and share with anyone who can benefit from this if you have any questions regarding crystal reels feel free to reach out um, like I said, my family and I have been using them since the late 90s. Got plenty of friends that use them regularly and they're, they're workhorses. So um, any questions, shoot me, uh, shoot me a message uh, either on Instagram, Ocean Pulse Gear. Uh, you can find us on any social media platform under that handle, as well as you can just sh shoot me an email to info at Ocean Pulse Gear. Later, everyone. Tight lines. <laughs>